Hello everyone, it is Aikos Nim and I'm back with more uh, Black Mirror. So let's see, last time, um, well, last time we solved a little bit of a, um, I don't want to, I kind of want to call it a puzzle, but it's the same time it's not, and um, also the maid, the lovely maid was a very nice girl, she's dead. What happened? We have no idea. Oh yeah, we also have this lady over here, which apparently she's a doctor who will watch over our father. Yeah, she's a, uh, you know, from the asylum. Anyway, let us continue. So, why are why you did here? You come here to make sure my father was successfully in the ground. With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me um, about my wife. Why is there in? I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your I could have thought this is a little bit of a glitch. She was supposed to be staring at him, but... Outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. <laughs> this just looks weird. Felt wrong. She looks like Even a robot then. now. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was carrying I mean, some... I the job of the psychiatrist. ...that he was being haunted by evil. I wish I had reached him, had been able to reach him. Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. Hmm. Um, hold on, give me a few minutes. All right, much better. Sorry, I was wearing uh, this kind of shoes, but they were not comfortable. I'm comfortable. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Was that why he moved you to India? To remove himself from this place? Could you, you know, so. just stare at him? And yet here you are. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a glitch. She, she was definitely that. supposed to be talk, staring at him. But now she just Maybe looks... An ancient evil in this place. Now she just looks, looks some, like no a of robot. Even from the other side of the world. Father was obsessed with the history of the family for as long as I can remember. Did your father actually believe his family was out to get him? Well, I should probably should be thankful. <laughs> There's a glitch kind of like this, physical. but and the guy just think? looks like he's you no know, right? giving a show on a strip Are joint. The the of course, I'm referring to the little glitch from um, fuck, what is it called? Um, uh, Wolf Among Us. Why does this glitch just starts giving up a strip jo uh You know, it just starts pumping. <laughs> it's just a very weird animation. Like, it, two characters are having a normal conversation to this, this guy. Uh. He was a disturbed man. He saw things that. Ah, oh, crap. I, what, that was not the button I wanted to press. Like I wouldn't press. Floating in thin air. If you really want to help me. Then let us find out what the maid knew. She was hiding something, but was too scared of Angus and Margaret to tell me. You think whatever she wanted to confide might be connected to her death? Maybe. Whatever I mean, yeah, it could be trouble, connected. It has to be real. It has to be. A woman must have drowned herself in the lock. Because if it's all in my mind, like father, like son. Like father, like son, huh? Lovely. Now then, let's go. The Unless we can find another way in. Angus will have the key. Unless we can find another way in. Another way in? Wait, there is another way in. Though she won't like it. <laughs> I think I might have an idea how to get into the cellar, but I'm not sure you'll like it. If it involves this filthy dumb waiter, don't even think about it. Well, you promised to help. help me, so help me. On my terms. True, that wouldn't be very ladylike. You might want to consider what I do for a living before trying to taunt me this cheaply. Hmm. I can't fit in there and I see no other way into the cellar. Hmm. 
You're asking me to put a lot of trust in you, given the circumstances. Well, I suppose. You can trust me. And I will do my very best to learn to trust you. Mm. All right, then. Clothes can be washed. Thank you. Lovely. <gasps> yes, it is. Well then, have fun. Oh, and careful with the spiders. <laughs> Pull me back up. What? Did, did, did she hurt me? I need something to open the doors from the inside once I'm down there. Really? God damn it, woman. Let me see something to... Hmm. Is there anything here that might be that might be useful? This should do it. There you go. We need to examine the maid's body in the cellar. To find out who killed her. To be sure she was murdered before we start pointing fingers. I mean, fair now. Now then, I have a knife. Use it. You can use it, right? Here we go. Have fun. You can probably use it to kill the spiders as well. Going down. <laughs> that mental little twitch. Yep, you in a minute. Famous last words. She comes back dead. Uh, Dr. Farber. She... Is everything all right? Oh, crap. Is she actually dead? Leah! Oh, if anything's happened to her. Oh. You needn't worry about me. I've been to stranger places than this castle. Follow me. Oh, really? Stranger than the castle? I'm kind of curious. All right, here we go. Oh, my, this is gonna be lovely. Not really, though. So, where is it again? Oh, it's right here. Oh, it's gonna be messed up. Oh, this is so fucking messed broken, up. And with some considerable force, it seems. Her necklace looks like gold, albeit a plain design. And it's missing any form of pendant. Still, well beyond a maid's salary. It... What? What the hell? Oh, where's that sudden drop Your stag from? is here, my little doe. Little doe? Not exactly the usual way to address the staff. Her clothes. He ripped the seam open. Oh, that is messed up. We're all here, sir. All down in the dark. We're... Something's coming. The attic, sir. She's in the attic. What just happened? You look like you were in some kind of trance. Perhaps the lack of sleep is affecting me. Or the visions that you think me insane yeah. if I describe. You so I guess every time he has a vision, he gets. Side, remember? 
walks around like he's being like being trapped. The tiger can't change its stripes. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. That's horrible. You're not the one well, I had to find something. French. I don't speak French. You speak French? I do. It says for Clara, forever yours. Who's Clara? <laughs> I don't know. Yet another relative, perhaps? We should ask someone who's been around here for longer. Hmm. How did you know it was there? Well, this lady's the not the name is not uh... If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. A hunch. Eddie gave this to her. We should ask him to his face just what his relationship was with her. This isn't another ghost story, is it? Look, you wouldn't understand. I can't... What I do understand is that we cannot accuse a man of murder without proof. I mean, fair now. They seem to be a house full of carnivals. <laughs> I mean, I also like some meat, but... Even higher than my limits. The scene really did rip when she tried to get away from him. Hmm. Anything here? Nope. Let's see, is there anything I need or did I miss? Or did I find everything? Uh, can I get closer, please? I mean, it doesn't help a lot, you know? I'm trying to find everything I can. Hmm. Hold on, let me see if I can see the, the little item. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich, not a servant. Hmm. I'll say. The maid could never have afforded this. Yes, thank you, this thank you. I already, I already servant. heard that. I was hoping if we could find something more. Hmm. Is that that's it? I don't think I can find anything else. Yeah, let's see if we can find something else. Maybe talk with someone. Or, I don't know. Cause I mean, we found as far as as far as I know, I found everything I could from uh, down there. I don't think there's anything else, unless I'm missing something, which I hope I not. Okay, let's see where to. Ah, oh, there you go. Like Finally found you. Here, sir. I need to speak with Eddie. The young master and her ladyship are otherwise detained.
I mean, May I remind you, this is my house. May I remind you that it is not yours yet. God damn it. Fair enough. No, we're, I'm not gonna be uh, an asshole. Uh, Mr. McKinnon, who is Clara? The lady, Clara. Young Eddie's late mother. A box with some of her belongings are kept in the library, as Master Eddie feels himself more a Gordon than a Mallory. There's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. I'll say. Nobody in this house is particularly chatty, not even when I have an actual question for them. If Eddie really gave her that pendant, he might be her killer, and I might not be losing my mind. Maybe once I found out, there's no doubt about his loyalty, nor with whom it lies. The maid could never have afforded this. This is a trinket of the rich. Not yeah, no shit, I know, but how do I show it to him? God damn it. Nobody in this house is particularly chatty. Not even when I have an actual question for them. Clara seems to be the name of Eddie's mother. It's hardly an uncommon name. We need more proof for a grave accusation like this. Hmm. Well then, I guess I'm gonna have to work and do. Is there something here? No. Well, there you go. Some progress. Hopefully, this should help Recognize us. Recognize that. The necklace. Is that? A young Eddie and his mother Clara. Interesting. I regret to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number eight seven four five one one, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the fourteenth of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. Hmm. I mean, sure, that's nice and all, but it doesn't... Change the fact she'll gonna grieve a lot about this missing husband. <sighs> Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us so we can be a family once more. I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts. Your loving wife, Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. My goodness. It's just sad. Hmm. Alright, I'm back again.
Hopefully this time we'll... Oh, sure, now I can show him. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Elsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You have deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behavior. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? You That's shut enough. up. Eddie. The pen. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing. And I had no need of it. You know she sent... No need for it? You know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Her clothing was ripped. As if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. Right. My little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just, just harmless fun. That's harmless all. fun, which end up to You're you. A uh, liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I. I would never have laid a finger on her. We were in love. I helped her with everything, even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... Rose? That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? God damn it. As you say, ma'am. I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. My goodness. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. For Given the fuck's current sake. state of Master Eddie, who should Are you be using your considerations. Your Any wounds to on the topic blackmail me at this point. Would you not agree? <sighs> Thank you, Leah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Hmm. Impudent brats. Fuck old moment. What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned what was it? Chores involving a rose. What what does that mean? Something about the garden, perhaps? We could ask Rory. Or is it about the attic? Oh, I wonder. Whatever it is, it's something she doesn't want us to know. The attic? Clearly. I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. Oh, yeah, she did. An empty room. Interesting. Guess we're gonna have to figure it out. Hmm, the maid came from downstairs. I mean, from the attic, so I might as well go there. I am quite curious about that place. But yeah, as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna, you know, switch every single person here. It's quite clear that nobody here cares about me. They all own in their own little fantasy. Alrighty then, let's see if we can go into the attic. I have my doubts. You know, I kind of wish I have, I had my own flashlight. It would really help me instead of having someone else holding the light. God damn it, woman, she's so freaking slow. Looks like, how long is it gonna take you? Finally. What the hell am I supposed to do now?
God damn it, how the hell am I supposed to get there? Or oh, whatever. Might as well try to investigate the the woman who died running. Like she died in a lake, so I might as well go to that little well, the lake. <laughs> Can I go outside? I guess I'll find out soon enough. God, this woman is so fucking slow. Where the hell are you going? Ah, so annoying. Alright, here we go. Can I go outside? I'll find out soon enough. Alright then, looks like I can go outside. Perfect! Here we go. Ugh, creepy. What is it? Um. God. <laughs> I'll get you back. That's. <laughs> Stop monkeying around. Come with me. Come inside, Nebbe. Don't go. Can I just have a few? It's not a request, girl. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Hmm. What's happening to me? David? Who knows? Is everything oh, all right? My goodness. We should make haste. Well I mean that is a good question. What is wrong? <laughs> what is happening to this guy? Well, one thing for certain. Those are not ghosts. Those are more like a Visions, something like that. He's seen stuff that happened before in this place. Oh, stunning. Hmm? <gasps> so pretty. It was, it was already beautiful at daytime, but now. So mysterious. How curious. Come and look at this. Hmm? What is it? What is that? Look, they form a clear circle. This can't be a fluke. It looks like one of the stones is missing. A heavy enough stone to weigh yourself down with. Hmm. Something's carved into each one. How curious. Let's see. What do we got here? I've never seen a rose like this before. I have. The gardener, Rory. He brought some down from the glass house. The glass house? Interesting. Anything else here? Nope. Oh, there's something here. Just need a 
bottle. Hmm. I don't know, maybe... Guess we're gonna head out to the glass, uh, glass house. I cannot find anything else. I mean, better than nothing, I guess. Alright, here we go. Oh, I see light in there. And the guy already fixed the door. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> Pardon. It's just a reflex. Stop. To, um... That's an unusual looking rose. I noticed one lying by the side of the loch. Aye, that's been me. A flower for the flower of Skahandu. Cecilia. My Cecilia? They're for her. I grew them for her. She loved the roses, did Cecilia. No, the red ones, though. Made her think of blood, ye kin. Forgive me, mm. but wouldn't it be more fitting to place them on her grave? Why? She's no there, is she, laddie? That's not where she rests. And I don't oh. stand by your modern god. Rory, what happened to her? What happened to Cecilia? I'm not in the mood to open old wounds, laddie. Hmm. May but... I have some of the roses, Rory? I'd like to place them on Cecilia's grave. What's she to you? You didn't ken her. No, I didn't. I mean, I can still but show her. And besides, Father always spoke fondly of her. He would even smile as he talked about playing in the gardens with her as a child. He did, did he? Aye, well, that's good to kin. I should have some left in the glass house. Yay! There are some strange markings carved into the stones on the shore. Runes, aye. I'm old-fashioned, I suppose. Still hold to the old ways. Oh, I see. Superstitions don't gain validity just by being believed in for a long time. I watch well, that. whatever you say. Your I mean, science doesn't have all the answers. With the A or B, at the end of the day, sometimes just suspicions do bring uh, ease to the soul. I'll speak to you later, Rory. And as long as people get to relax, sure you will, I suppose. Yeah. For the best. All right, here we go. Going in. Sorry, lassie, but you can't go in. It's for family only. Hmm. But just hold on a moment. No, it's okay. I quite understand. You go ahead, and I'll wait here for you, if I must. I, you must. Ah, farewell. Sorry. Family only, apparently. Or, you know, before the garden. <laughs> garden, I mean. Alright then. I know, it doesn't look like I have green fingers. I mean, it's quite alright. Are these... I, Cecilia's roses. They're beautiful. I like to think so. But they seem to be the only thing that grows here. Hmm. That's a funny thing to say. Anyway, I think... Let me just check. Yep, I think I'm gonna stop right here. So, you have one, please. Like the video, subscribe, comment, 
Niin te vielä. Pienä asia vaan. Onneksi video. Bye bye.